Hello everyone, I'm Rick Wright from the Livestock Markets Association of Canada with this week's Regional Livestock Market Report for Eastern Canada coming out of Manitoba. And today's report is brought to you by the Canadian Angus Association. Well, another busy week in Manitoba as we saw good deliveries right across the board, not as heavy as the week prior. It looks like we're over the hump for the fall run, but certainly still good numbers of calves to establish the market. Cow trade was really busy this week as most of the markets reported larger deliveries of cows and slaughter bulls. Take a look at the prices from them this week uh, on the fed cattle. A buck thirty pretty much stopped most of the fed cattle in the ring. Uh, that equated back to about two twenty eight delivered to Alberta. On the cow market, your good killing cows traded anywhere from sixty three to sixty nine, with sales to seventy four. Stronger demand and higher prices for the lightweight feeding cows and the good heiferets. A few individuals starting to put a few cows away in Manitoba for storage into the new year, and that helped put a floor price on the top end of the cows. Good bulls traded from ninety to a buck, with sales to one hundred five fifty. When we moved into the feeder cattle trade here, we had a fairly busy week. 10,500 cattle traded in Manitoba through the public auctions this past week. That's down from a year ago when we traded 12,850 head in the same week. On the prices though, they were fairly strong. The lightweight cattle under 700 pounds were real strong. Once you got into that 650 to 750, 800 pound range, a little bit of resistance unless there was Ontario interest on the uh, market and they kept it fairly steady. Your good three to 400 pound stocker steer calves in Manitoba this past week averaged 277.75 with Killarney topping off the market at 302. Four to five weights in Manitoba, weekly average 248.50 with Winnipeg reporting the top sales at 281. Five to six hundred pounders, two sixteen and a half was the average for the week. Two thirty four topped her off at Grunthal and St. Rose. Six to seven weights uh, traded anywhere from one ninety four fifty on the average, with Verdon topping off the week at two oh nine. Your seven to eight hundred pound steers averaged one eighty four for the week. Ashern had some exceptionally good quality steers. Uh, Joe Bouchard up there had some real good black hided cattle that really traded well. Ashern had the high sell at. 197. On the yearlings, your 8 to 900 pounders at 175 on the average. Verdon topped her off at 189. Your 9 to 1,000 pound steers averaged 170 in Manitoba for the week. Verdon topping again at 178. On the heifer trade, lots of local demand on the heifers, and that's kept them fairly stiff. We really uh, tightened up that spread between the steers and the heifer market. Three to 400 pound stocker steer calves averaged 229.50 for the week, with Grunthal and Ashern topping the week at 242. Your five to uh, four to five weights rather traded on an average of 207.75, with Gladstone auction mark topping off the week at 245. Once again, real good local demand there in Gladstone. Five to 600 pounders at 188.75 for the week. 216 topped off that heifer market at Gladstone and St. Rose. Six to 700 pound heifers for the week in Manitoba. 174 average with St. Rose topping off at 193. Seven to 800 pound heifers average 165 and a quarter for the week and 173 was the top seller out of St. Rose on Thursday. On the yearling heifers and heavier weight heifers, your eight to nine weights averaged 158.50. With the top sellers of the week coming out of Ashern at 167, your 9 to 1,000 pound heifers at 150 for the week. Ashern once again topping off on those good yearling heifers at 160.50. On the bread cow market, we had a number of bread cow sales in Manitoba over the past week and a bunch more booked before now in Christmas time. Your good bread cows traded from 1,600 to 2,100. Uh, with your good bread heifers trading from 1600 to 2400 Verdon on Saturday had a real good selection of heifers. They had a few papered heifers that's traded up as high as $3,000 by the auction on Saturday in Verdon. So for the upcoming week, we're expecting the numbers to decline again. We're over the hump for the fall run, but we'll still have enough to establish the market. Eastern Canada certainly supporting the market and keeping the prices high here in Manitoba. We're expecting large volumes of butcher cows and feeder cows to come to the trade for the next week and we expect that market to remain fairly steady. So on behalf of the Livestock Markets Association of Canada and the Canadian Angus Association, I'm Rick Wright. Have a good marketing and stay safe my friends.